Boom. What's up? What's up, guys? What's going on, man? It's, it's been a long time, yeah? All right. Uh, so today we're going to um, look at something. We're going to look at creating landing pages using Ucraft. Uh, I mean, this is what I really suggest. You know, a lot of people are doing GoDaddy, Gmail, and all that stuff. But I prefer using Ucraft. And um, I've been using it for like maybe four years or so. And um, I've never had issues with it. I've never had any of my URLs. Uh, restricted by Facebook or whatnot, uh, and also I I pay for mine. That's the thing. That's the difference. So you don't. What happens with uh, Ucraft? You are given um, a two weeks trial, like fourteen day trial, uh, to you know to test it out. Then uh, when that trial expires, what you can do, you can basically just delete it and create another one, or you can just duplicate and then you know delete the other one. And you're only allowed to have like two sites. Uh, I think yeah, two free sites. Um, I have three because I'm paying for these ones. Uh, I think it's like about 13 bucks a month or something for each. So it's 13 by three. It's not like 13 bucks for the whole stuff. Uh, but <clears throat> you don't necessarily need to um, pay for it. You can use the free trial, free trial one, and then you can just be you know renewing after um, the 14 days trial is over. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, so the first step, you know, when you once you log into um, your Ucraft and stuff like that. Uh, the first thing you need to do is just go to create a new website. So we'll create on there. So um, we want to create something uh, similar to, uh, let's see. Let's just create something that, something similar to what I would have. Because I'm not going to go through the whole process of saying, uh, you know, because we're not going to create, you know, intricate um, landing page here. I prefer, I prefer simple ones. You know, for real estate, I'm using something like this. It's very simple and straight to the point. So that's what I like doing um, you know, when I'm creating free traffic uh, landing pages. So yeah, let's get into it. So when we get here, you're gonna have to choose a template. I have my favorite, which is easy, uh, but you can you know always play around this. Uh, let's go to the one that I normally use, which is the avocado one. Um, let's look for it somewhere down here. This one, I love the video. You know, you can really get back to it. I like it because of the font. I'm not saying that's the only one that you can you can play around, but if you're new to it, um, I think it's best just you know try you know starting with something that's simple. So when you get to the trial to the uh, template that you want, all you have to do is click on select. Then you, you just put in the name of the uh, URL you want to use. Let's say you're promoting real estate or you know a surveys. You can just name whatever you want uh, for that. So let's say you're running surveys. Um, you can simply just say maybe, let's say it's server junkie, you can probably just say S junkie or oh, server junkie, I don't know, it's like at the end of the day, it's all up to you. Server, uh, I guess let's say maybe server J, uh, just for it to be short. Since they that you dot you crap your site, it's gonna be like that. So you click on get started, right? And then there we go. We choose on the 13 dollar monthly one. Uh, we're not paying for it yet, so yeah, mind you. Um, uh, let's go start 14 day trial. Then the good thing about it, you don't have to put any credit card on here. Uh, and I like Ucraft basically because it's fast. Uh, it's probably faster than most of these free, other free, um, you know, site builders and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've never had issues with it. Right, then here's your trial starting from here. When you get here, you just don't, you don't do anything, just click on start crafting. And then the first thing we need to do, we need to get rid of everything that's in there. Everything, you know. Uh, we want to be left with just one thing. I just cancel all these things. Uh, it's nice. uh, so you go right there, the corner where it says block settings, you click on it. Then there's that delete block. You go OK. Another one, delete block. You go to this one again, delete block. And this one again. Delete block. Then we we'll go down here again. We delete block. And again here we delete block. We just want to be left with one thing because we only want to use one block. Um, and you might be wondering why um, I left that one only. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Right. So the reason why I left this one alone is because it's already set up for us. All you have to do is just 
you know edit here and put whatever you want in there there we go put whatever you want in there now the first thing we need to do now is we need to go back to block settings and we go to this one block background we click on background let's remove it and then let's come back here and just maybe say background color uh we'll change background color later on since because me i like keeping white so if i change now uh let me show you what happens if i change now change to that white you won't be able to see what's on there now so i want to leave it for now come back to it all right so now we want to create something similar to this so here's our logo logo right there um you know but you can put a logo or you can ignore it's up to you now let me just do this real quick just save this logo logo rto right let's get in there mm, right so what then if you want to add some elements they want to put something at the top for the logo so it's called elements so you come under elements right there that's all you basically going to use then we're going to drag um an image uh you can put logo but i've never really used logo up there but uh, let's see all right let's see then what can you do oh, fine seems like it works we just drop logo then we're going to change what is there already upload logo okay and there we go <clears throat> loading <clears throat> okay there you go now we need to ch ch change this background color again and then we're gonna just put it maybe uh let's maybe say black yeah, like that there's a thing thing there and then we can put this one down if you want like that right now this is our next step well, let's put this one up a bit like that right now stay next step we want to copy this right copy let's put paste inside um about us there we go <clears throat> we come here let's just put another element uh I just put a paragraph right down here. Right there. <clears throat> just paste in there. Right up again. Okay. There we go. Uh, now, so to come here first. So why did I have to paste this thing on the side first? Why? Because sometimes when you click, if you copy and paste, actually when you copy and paste, yeah, it takes everything as it is, and then you you know copy from here to paste it aside. But you won't be able to edit properly; it won't look so nice. So it's better to just copy it and put it on the side. Then you copy it again from here, and then you know it will look something like that. All right. So uh, let me check this thing down a little bit. All right. All right. So what's next? Well, let's go. We've got the button all right so let's go up here then element we need to put something else at the bottom of the button some right here put right there now nah, nah. down under the button there we go now let's take this put it aside and then we come here we're gonna have to paste it right in here right there if you want to make it bold it's just like using windows now like microsoft or whatnot uh when you come to this level now you know just use the, the normal things that you're given uh now uh you know you can take this one this one doesn't matter we can take it just like that and put it in there since it's a white background at the end of the day it's like that there we go and there we go 
Uh, let me put it almost done. There we are. Uh, a little bit. Just have to make it look nice. Here. Now, how do you edit the button? You click on it. You go to button settings. You put what you want there. You want to say search for homes now. Then you type in search for homes now. Right. That's it. Then we're going to have to choose the type. Style. We click the style. Go back. You come back here. You edit the style. What you want to add? The font. Increase a little bit. It's up to you. You want to font family? It's up to you. Border. Uh, I normally put a border. Here I leave it as well. Then here I, leave, I put a 5. You see? Oh, and then we'll come back to color now. We want color. So I want the color here blue and green. So we're going to put a background to be blue. This blue, right? Blue. Then the border color, we made it green. There we go. Uh, which type of green, by the way? Nah, the dark green. This one. This one. Yeah, something like that. Right, then that's, that's it. Now, you want to put a link. Yo, let's say, um, let's say I want to put this link, for instance. Uh, copy it, and you're going to have to come inside here, and then, sorry, you come here. You click on it, and this is add a link. You click on it, and then you go to external. There's one, two, three, four. Go to external right there. Then you come here, and then you paste your link right in there. Then you save. That's it. You're done. Now the next step is for us to work on the background now, all right? So it's either you put color or you put a background of your house. For instance, since this one for your house, on this one I put a house as a background. Uh, let's see if we have uh, something on here. Well, we probably might not have anything. Let's see. All right. So I don't have anything on here. So I'm not gonna go and. Um, I don't think I, on this computer, I don't think I have houses on there, but let me just check, right? Uh, <clears throat> Do we have homes on the desktop? Homes, 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 okay. So we got homes in here, but the problem is that they're good, because it has to be good quality, right? It has to be, um, you know, H, HD or something like that, I don't know, maybe, but it just has to be good quality. Not just some, you know, uh, Poor quality um, house. So let's see how this one looks, and then we'll decide whether we keep it or not. Right. So now the next step is um, we will have to reduce the transparency so that it still looks like a house, but we can still look at our. Let's see, like that. We left it five. We can even increase a little bit. Yeah, it's still fine. Ten, for instance, it still looks like a house. But now you notice that this image is um, not so good. Uh, it's not like let's drag it down so you can really see problem. Now the next step. So here we need to focus on putting this thing up there a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. Look at that. Everything's still okay. So. Now let's go to the mobile because what's important is to make sure that your mobile looks good. So let's go to mobile, which is under um what that's weird. I really can't see it. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have to look for mobile now. Uh preview uh but for real though, I can't see mobile. Alright, but anyway, it looks good. Looks alright for mobile as well. It looks alright for mobile as well. So I think they now have the option to automatically uh, optimize it for mobile as well. Because then there's an option somewhere around here where you could just um, go to the mobile section. And, okay, here it is, sorry. Here it is. You click on it and you go to mobile. Now you can make play around this one. So this part you can remove it. I think it's a small part. That one. No, sorry, that was wrong. That was not. That was not the one. Should be somewhere around here. There it is. Move that part. Where is it? Yeah, exactly. Now it looks better. And we come here. We remove that part. 
right? Then this one needs to put it up a little bit. Right. So it's not really um that hard. Now we're done, man. We are done. We'll go back here. Almost I mean. There's a landing page. Now the next step is to, as you can see up here, it's saying fruits and veggies. So you need to make sure that you name it to be like this. So how do you do it? You go to dashboard. For the landing page, we're done here. We can even click on publish, right? Right. Then you go to dashboard and then you go to pages first because it has a lot of pages. You need to get rid of those. Then you delete number one shop and then you delete the contact one delete as well and then i think here is nothing the nothing you can put here can you just say oh, so, so. Uh, but it's not really necessary and then we x out now we're going to the um seo this is where we get to change the top part and again you go to edit then here we go to all right we're gonna write view houses houses for rent for rent you know it's funny man that this thing had really 97 junkie but now you know Creating for the uh, that you know it's funny. All right, then we say um, see houses for rent in your area area today, right? That's what's up. And here you can just put a you know a house image. Just anything's fine. Uh, <clears throat> Then save and your language is done. That's all. That is all you need to do, guys. You don't need to. You can now go to my size. Um, from there, let's see what we're gonna do. From there, we just click on our. As you can see what I'm saying, you guys. Like, so when you you when you using a travel version, it'll be like this. Travel. But when you pay for them, it'll be like active, active, active. So that's why my that's why I'm, I'm able to create for in the this one I can even pay for it to say if I want to use it. Uh well it's easier for me. Uh at the end of the day um it's worth it because you don't you don't have to be going back and forth to you know recreating landing pages. I've created this landing pages I think like this one I think I created like two or three years ago. This one last year or something but I'm not using it anymore. Then this one I've been using the whole year. So yeah this is our landing page. That's the one that we created. Everything is proper there. You make sure you come here and then you go at the bottom down there down at the corner you'll be able to see a link down there uh, yeah then this is what you'll be using to post and whatnot or whatever you're posting all right uh so yeah i hope this really helps out and um i'll see you on the next one guys peace out